Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, as promised, here is my video for Blackboard Collaborate Ultra and how to find um, your recorded sessions. Uh, so the video will be twofold. I will show professors how to start and stop recording, and then I will show everyone where to find your recorded sessions. So um, for your uh, for the purposes of this video, you'll see um, this is a previous session that I had. Um, in my first video, you would have seen that I highlighted the fact that I dated and gave a topic um, for my lesson um, just for the ease of finding sessions later on, and you'll see where that comes in. Um, so for the purposes of this video, instead of joining a structured session already created, I'm just going to join my course room right now. Um, and now you're seeing uh, Blackboard Collaborate Ultra from the professor's angle. Um, when you are ready to start teaching, so let's say you've gone in here and you've shared some content, you've uploaded your slides and all of that, and you're ready to start teaching, um, you can go up here. Sorry, I'll put my little bubble on. You can go up here in these three lines and you can start recording. Um, so your session is now being recorded and it'll record until you stop it. So my first session I recorded was two hours long. Um, even when I had a break, I, I recorded through the break um, just for ease. Once you're done, you can stop recording. And this indicates that recording has stopped. Um, now just note that when we go back um, here in our original space, um, your sessions might not, or your recordings might not come up right away. Um, I read somewhere that it might take 10 minutes to an hour, and I'd say I probably experienced that the first time I did it. Um, so when you um, click here on the three little lines, you'll have sessions and you will have recordings. And here you can find the first recording that I did, and you can see how this um, comes back up where I have my date and my topic. Um, I really like the idea of this because once I have six or seven lessons up here, it'll be easy for students to find the content and uh, rewatch or listen to the lesson. Um, I would say that uh, my advice to all professors is um, to record your lessons because what if your students are having tech difficulties? Um, or um, online learning is not um, something that they're used to or their favorite method of learning, they might need to review the content again. So that's my advice. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, take care and have a great day.